today. The full specs of AMD's new series of GPUs leak. RX 7000 comes with what? Intel's desktop Arc GPUs are priced to the max, and AMD confirms their Ryzen 7000 CPUs and APUs. Let's just say things are about to change. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, WCCF Tech seems to have confirmed the specs on AMD's upcoming RX 6050 GPUs. Starting things off, according to the report, these do look to be a refresh similar to Nvidia's supercards, though these are apparently expected to get between a 5-10% to performance increase over their non-50 counterparts. The cards set for release are the RX 6950 XT, the 6750 XT, and the 6650 XT. When it comes to specs, the new cards come with the same amount of cores and memory, but they now have faster memory than the non-50 cards. Not only that, but they have higher clocks across the board. Unfortunately, they also come with higher power draw. Basically, AMD's 6050 cards look to essentially be a bin variant of the non-50 cards. This allows AMD to push clocks a bit Bit higher than their normal cards while adding faster memory. All in all, the cards are set for release next week, so we likely won't have to wait long to find out. But first, I've got to tell you about today's sponsor, and I actually have a story about them. They're called Keeps, and originally I ignored their sponsorship because I thought it was just some company that sold off brand Rogaine, but I was so wrong. If you don't know, Keeps is an online subscription service that helps men keep their hair, but they don't just sell clinically proven hair loss treatments. Keeps also connects you with the doctor to help you get the medicine that's best for you right from your home. I'm talking prescription medication that's been proven to stop hair loss right in its tracks. So there's no embarrassing doctor visits or anything. To top it all off, Keeps gives you 24-7 access to specialists to help you along the way. Simply put, hair loss stops with Keeps. And they're offering 50% off your first order when you visit keeps.com slash gamermeld or click the link in the description. Once again, that's keeps.com slash gamermelt. Next up for today, we've got new information on AMD's upcoming RX 7000 GPUs. According to a new tweet from leaker Kepler, Navi31, which is their highest-end GPU, we're talking it would make up the 7900 XT, 7800 XT, etc. It apparently comes with support for 16 times PCI Express Gen 5. Of course, if you followed the channel, which you definitely should, you know that a recent leak claims NVIDIA's RTX 4000 GPUs only come with PCI Express 4.0, so that could potentially be an advantage for AMD's RX 7000 cards. Of course, GPUs today don't even really need PCI Express 4.0, so I don't see there being any real difference. With that said, AMD may need PCI Express 5.0 given their higher-end GPUs are rumored to launch as MCM parts, so there may be some sort of bottleneck in PCI Express 4.0 there. That would of course mean that PCI Express 5.0 could be required for RX 7000 to reach their highest potential. That or they could simply be using the newest standard like they did with their RX 6000 cards. Either way, AMD's next gen GPUs are looking to be a serious jump in performance. Next up, it looks like Intel has essentially confirmed the pricing of their desktop Arc GPUs. And it's pretty sad. If you remember, back in March 2021, Intel announced a scavenger hunt to market their upcoming ARC GPUs. Well, they recently concluded the competition and the winners are being announced. As you can see, the first place winner gets one performance Intel ARC GPU, ARC merchandise, and three months of Xbox Game Pass for PC. And all of that's valued at $700. When we take off the Xbox Game Pass at $45, we get $655. Then let's assume the standard merchandise is likely around 50 bucks. So if we round up and just take off the $55, we're left with around 600 bucks. Now, the issue is that this isn't the best Intel Arc GPU. The grand prize is valued at a whopping $900 and comes with a premium Intel Arc GPU. When we do the math, we're looking at around $800 for Intel's highest end GPU. The problem is that according to leaks, as well as the performance from their mobile parts, we're likely looking at around a 3070 Ti 
to maybe a 3080. And that means we could literally see Intel's Arc GPU release at 3080-like performance for $100 more than the 3080. And that GPU is nearly two years old. Of course, they might be overestimating the price, but honestly, anywhere near this is ridiculously sad. Maybe it can get closer to the 3080 Ti's performance, but given what we're hearing about next-gen GPUs, Intel could be in serious trouble. And lastly for today, AMD has officially confirmed the release of their Ryzen 7000 CPUs, as well as their next-gen APUs, with a huge development there. I'm talking it might be time to toss out your GPU. The story originally comes from a new roadmap released by the company, and in it, we first see that AMD still claims to be releasing their Ryzen 7000 CPUs later this year. Given this time frame is exact, it's looking like a release around Q3. Not only that, but they further confirmed that it does in fact support DDR5 and PCI Express 5.0, but that isn't even the biggest news here. Moving down, we can see that AMD confirms their Phoenix APUs, which proves this roadmap that was released a long time ago is spot on yet again. Either way, Phoenix APUs are made for thin and light notebooks, based on Zen 4 and include LPDDR5 and PCI Express 5.0 support, and they're set to be released early next year, likely CES. But here's the huge thing. Unlike with Rembrandt, AMD is releasing two APU lineups, the second being Dragon Rain which is made for, quote, extreme gaming laptop. And of course, they likely release these for desktop later on in the year. AMD further claims that it's the pinnacle of gaming performance, with the highest core, thread, and cache ever for a mobile gaming GPU, as well as the fastest creator and productivity performance ever on mobile PCs. Now, this is really interesting because, if you remember, I recently went over a leak from Red Gaming Tech that claimed we would be getting as high as 24 CUs in the iGPU and that's double the GPU cores in their newest Ryzen 6000 APUs. That's such a big deal because Ryzen 6000 APUs can already get some great performance in modern games. So double that would essentially destroy lower to even maybe mid-range discrete GPUs. That leak also mentions a more unified cache system, which likely explains this. Now, in that leak, he claims that it's Phoenix APUs, but AMD could have decided to split the product line just recently. Either way, this looks to confirm that AMD is gearing up to destroy the low-end discrete GPU market. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen APUs? Let me know down in the comments below, and definitely make sure to check out Keeps in the description. And as always, have a great day!